Down at the cross where my Savior died. Down where for cleansing from sin I cried. There to my heart was the blood applied. Glory to his name. Sing it now. Glory to his name. so sweetly abide within there at the cross where he took me in glory to his name sing it glory to his name oh glory to his name there to my heart was the blood of life glory This fountain that saves from sin. I am so glad I have entered in. There, Jesus saves me and keeps me clean. Glory to His name. Sing it now. Glory to His name. applied. Glory to his name. Amen. Amen. Sickness. 
I wonder if you can say tonight it is well with my soul. You know, H. E. Spafford, when he wrote that song, it was after a horrendous tragedy in his life. <clears throat> Being a businessman, he was working hard, and he and his wife and children had decided to go to Europe. And in the middle of a business transaction, he found he didn't have time to leave, so he sent his family on ahead of him. 
And it wasn't long that he received a telegram that read, Saved Alone. What had happened was halfway between New York and England. <clears throat> the ship that his wife and daughters were on had hit and collided with another ship. And the daughters were killed. And the wife alone survived. And that's why the, it said saved alone. This man went through it. He was tortured mentally and psychologically over this horrible event. Suffered terribly. He ended up seeking psychological help and was even admitted to the hospital. But yet he had enough about him to say, it is well with my soul. There's just a deep part of the heart of a Christian that even in the middle of the worst of the worst can say, we're okay. I hope you know the Lord tonight. If you don't know this great Savior we've been singing about and testifying over, I just want to tell you, he's real. You say, well, preacher, I, I don't know why I would need this Jesus. Well, the Bible says that you're a sinner. Matter of fact, the Bible says that not only you, but for all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Every one of us in this room were born into sin. The Bible says that we were at enmity or we were the enemies of God. Imagine that, born as God's enemy. But in spite of the fact that we were his enemy, we find that for God so loved the world <laughs> that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. <clears throat> Oh, but preacher, you don't understand. I work hard to be a good person. I'm glad you work hard to be a good person. I'm sure the local sheriff's department is glad you strive to be a good person. But the fact of the matter is, the Bible tells us that it's not by works of righteousness which we have done, but according to his mercy... He saved us. Don't forget, we were born his enemy. Don't forget, we were born into sin. We came out of the womb marred in sin. That's why God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Well, <clears throat> so we know we need to be saved tonight. We know we can't save ourselves by our works. I Think about Diane's testimony this morning. She said, I was told that if I just believed that Jesus died on the cross for my sins and if I was good, <clears throat> then I'd go to heaven. But the fact of the matter is, our goodness doesn't matter. The fact of the matter is, it's all about His goodness, His graciousness, His holiness. The Bible tells us that our righteousness, the best that we have to offer, Compared to Christ is as filthy rags. I don't know about you, <clears throat> but I'm not dependent on my filthy rags to get me through the pearly gates. I'm depending on the holiness, the graciousness, the mercy of God. Well, what do we do, Lord? Well, the Bible tells us, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. Well, when do I need to be saved? Well, the Bible says, Behold, now is the day of salvation. Pretty simple stuff, isn't it? Well, how do I go about this? Well, according to Romans chapter 10 and verse 9, it says that if we, if thou shalt confess 
with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and shalt believe in thy heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. Then he tells us in verse 3 of Romans 10, For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. <clears throat> oh, remember Saul when he was on the road to Damascus? And uh, God showed up. He said, who art thou, Lord? <laughs> the confession. The profession. Confession of sin and professing God, Jesus Christ, be the God of his life. In a few minutes, we're going to baptize I just want to tell you, folks, <clears throat> the baptism has nothing to do with getting us saved. <clears throat> what you're going to see is the first step of obedience in the life of a Christian. We'll see the first step of obedience in the life of a young Christian middle-aged Christian and then one a little older tonight. We're praying that next Sunday night we're going to have to fill it up again. Say, well, preacher, that's 400 gallons of water. Aren't you afraid of hurting the environment? No. <laughs> I drain every last pond in Noonan in order to baptize the saint of God. We use it for God's purposes. He'll give it back to us a hundredfold. Not worried about it. Do you know Christ is your Savior this evening? If you were to die today, so, oh, yes, sir, preacher, I'm a, I'm a church member. Well, whoop de do. Diane was a church member when she bowed her little head Friday night and pleaded for salvation. That's right. Our brother back there, our brother Doug, was a church member. About three weeks ago on a Monday morning, about 3.30, lifted his eyes to heaven and said, God, I got to get this thing nailed down. Either save me or kill me. I can't take it anymore. And there's others in this room that were members of West Side Baptist Church. Realize that you're just a lost church member. That your name was on the roll of West Side, but not on the heavenly side. What about you? I'm going to ask just the pianist to come. If you don't know the Lord is your Savior tonight, I want to give you an opportunity to come and to be saved. Brother Dave, would you come please and leave the invitation? But it's just plain and simple. Do you know Jesus? <clears throat> I'm not asking you if you know about Jesus. I'm asking you, do you know Him? Is He your Lord? Is He your God? Is he your father and are you his children? Have you been washed by the blood of the lamb? Because it's the blood that was shed on Calvary's tree that cleanses us from all unrighteousness. It's just that simple. Are you under the blood? Everybody stand please. Every head bow. Every eye closed. Just as I am without one, one plea. plea, but that thy blood was shed for me, and that thou bidst me Another verse. You sure you know Christ your Savior? 
I come. This could be your last chance before eternity. Just as I am and waiting not to rid my soul of one dark blot to thee whose blood can cleanse each spot O Lamb of God I come I come um, I know you did this last week but can you do I know I'll know I'm home I like this song I'll know I'm home Listen to the words real close in the chorus. When I step off the ramp of the old ship of Zion, and I sink my toes in the sands of time On Jordan's bright shore I'll see friends and loved ones Who have made the same journey To heaven's fair climb As the saints are arriving To behold the great splendor they are met with a strange and most welcoming breeze with the fair lovely fragrance of the fruits of our labor and eternal blossoms of the flowers and trees i will sing hallelujah heaven's all In eternal refrain, we're singing glory to God, for he spared not his son. Oh, worthy, most worthy, the lamb who was slain. I will sing hallelujah, heaven's all that I long for. He is who he said.
I believe we all know Miss Betty. Yes, she a blessing. Praise the Lord. Well, in obedience to the divine command of our Lord Jesus Christ and Savior, I baptize you, my sister, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, buried in the likeness of his death, praise in the likeness of his death. Give her a hand. Praise the Lord. Mama set up for a picture over here. Just have to give us a minute. Right. The Lord's been good to us today, West Side Baptist yeah. Church. Yeah. one of our young men who was saved during vacation Bible school. <laughs> Hang on. This is Amy. <laughs> Amy. Grandma, hang on for dear life. Isn't that that okay? All right. In obedience to the divine, divine command of our Lord Jesus Christ and Savior, and upon your profession of faith, I now baptize you, my dear brother, in the name of the Father, and the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, buried in the likeness of his death, raised in the likeness of his resurrection. <laughs> Folks, give us a minute. Miss Diane, as you know, she's in a wheelchair, and we're want to have to help her up and down. So you just give us a few moments, please. It's really not that cold. <laughs> accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? Yes, sir. Praise the Lord for that. Because of your profession of faith and obedience to the Lord's command, I baptize you now, my sister, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, buried with Christ in death, and raised to walk in newness of life. Amen. It has been done as the Lord has commanded.